question of the day is how do you pulp test teeth specifically with cold? Hi, hey, I'm Dr. Boss, board certified endodontist, owner and founder of SoCo Endo. This is a question that I actually get quite frequently from a lot of colleague dentists. Hey, what's the, what's the best way that I should be cold testing teeth? So let me just go through how we do it here in our office. This is my favorite cold spray. It's called Endo Cool Spray. It's by Henry Shine. The reason why I like this one is because out of all the sprays, it has the best fragrance. Cold testing should be done relative, how much cold you apply it to the tooth should be done relative to what that particular patient's needs are. Some patients you're gonna to have to apply a ton of cold in order to get those teeth to respond. Some of them you're gonna to have to apply very little. So the nuance is if somebody has really hypersensitive teeth just in general, don't get the coldest, biggest cotton pellet and put it on that tooth. I always start small and work my way up as needed. Start with just a regular cotton roll. The cotton on the outside of it is kind of dense. You can tell it's been treated. So you wanna to get to those nice loose fibers that are in the middle. So I'll pull out just a little bit that's nice and loose. You wanna make it into a little ball. You don't wanna roll it up into a string and then roll it up into a ball. The name of the game is you want to create a cotton pellet that holds the correct amount of, of endo ice, of spray. Let me show you some things not to do. So as you get that, that loose cotton from the center of the cotton roll, don't just immediately pinch it and roll it up into a string and then make a cotton pellet out of it. You're not gonna get very good results if you do that. Let me show you that again, all right? You get those little cotton wisps. Don't pinch it and roll it up into a string and then try and make a cotton pellet out of that. You're not gonna get very good results if you do that. So open up the center, get those loose wispy parts of the cotton and then don't make a string out of it. Kind of bunch it together so it's a very loose, very loose cotton pellet. And then pinch it with your cotton pliers and you have a very nice custom made to your size. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what your needs are. Make sure that you get locking cotton pliers so that you can take this and hand it back and forth without dropping that cotton. And then you just unlock it when you're done with it. Locking cotton pliers are a must have. Then when I'm ready to cold test, you wanna saturate it as much as you can. Get it until it's dripping. Wet the cotton pellet, give it one shake to get off all the excess and then go straight into the, the tooth. You don't have much time. If you, if you get it wet and then you wait two, three minutes, it's, it's not gonna be cold anymore.